Okay, hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? It's your girl Stacey for Cooking and Baking and Family Life Channel. I'm back with another video today. Uh, today I'm doing a banana pudding. And you guys can see I got the bananas. I got the, uh, the jello banana cream. Got my little measuring cup. Got my little cool whip. Cool whip that go in the banana pudding. Oh, also, I got my banana wafers. Got the milk. Now you can use two percent milk. You can use one percent milk. This vitamin D whole milk right here. So I mentioned it to you guys yesterday in my video. <coughs> excuse me. That I had a banana pudding on other social media. So I never posted on YouTube. So today I'm about to show you guys what you put in banana pudding, how you prepare banana pudding. Today I'm gonna use probably like five bananas until I fill up the pan. I got the pan right here, aluminum pan. So I'm gonna show you guys how I top my banana. First you peel them. But you gotta make sure the bananas are good. They gotta be right. Like the banana right here. How that banana is so pretty. Yeah, you wanna make sure you get all this little strange stuff off of it too as well. I hope you guys are keeping it safe out there. Make sure you wear your mask. Um, uh, keeping your hands washed. Keep them hands washed at all times. And make sure you focus on God. Keep God in your life. This is the time we all need to have God in you. Because without God, there's no relationship. I've been having God in my life for a very long time. And I love the Lord. I love Father God. So, you know, it's good, always good to have God in you. Not only when something comes down, you're supposed to always have me in your life, your relationship, any relationship. You know, because when you keep God in you, your relationship lasts longer. You know, I have my relationship with God, my Father, and, uh, you know, just giving you guys heads up. Now, look at all the bananas. These are some beautiful bananas I got. See? Y'all see? Oh, Y'all see my bananas? They are so pretty. I'm going to show it to them. And I'm trying to show them the bananas. I want that video. This is how they look right here. These are the bananas. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to do like two at a time because I don't want to mess them up. Okay. <coughs> you want to make sure they're up thick. See how thick they are? The bananas. Sure. You cut the trash out? Yeah. You put it in the uh, garbage? Yeah, okay. everybody barbecue. I just want to make sure. Yeah, but I'm doing my little banana uh, pudding right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm making my banana pudding. Showing these guys how you do banana. You want these? You can have them in. Okay, you can, you can just have those. Okay, then I'm doing my other banana. All right. Alright, chopping up the banana. Oh no, I just I'm looking for my uh my other um uh, no my plate the other uh the the bowl so I can cut this stuff pretty good. And right now I'm doing my I'm chopping up these bananas and I'm gonna let you guys see what I done. And get that in, alright. Got my grandbaby in here. He watching me do the banana pudding. So hopefully one day when he grows up, uh -uh, he'll know how to do bananas. It's not hard to do. It's real easy. I don't know. I may have to use all these. I got idea four. It's four right here. So, so. okay, y'all see the bananas? How I cut them up? I'm gonna go back. These are the bananas. I sliced them up real good. 
Okay. So what I'm about to do, Jeremiah. Okay, here go another one. There go another one right there. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Okay. I got the tiny. Move the bananas to the side. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna do a big video today. You got a banana. You got. You got a banana away for you guys. Now I'm going to lace them in here. 